Howdy folks, welcome in to another Design Your Shine edition with Team Ma here at Diamond Painting with Sparklers. Today I'm working on a Diamond Art Club painting, The Old Shoe House by artist Dominic Davison. And I'm going to show you my process on part of the canvas. This canvas is so big, it's 70 by 105, that I do not think I can get through all of it in one session. So I'm probably going to divide this up in several sessions in order to show you what I've chosen on the canvas and why. Today, we are gonna focus right here on this blue mushroom. Now, I intend to make all of these psychedelic mushrooms blingy and special, even including this rainbow and some extra enhancements to the metallics and the castle. But today, we're gonna to focus specifically on this blue mushroom in the foreground. So, let's get started. What I've done, and this is typically my process, I get out the drills that are involved in the area that I want to enhance because to see them physically helps. So believe it or not, this mushroom contains all of these drills. That's a lot of colors in one little area. And I wanted to make him special since I'm going to be putting some metallic and glitter over here. I wanted this mushroom to be all crystals. Now, I don't expect each of y'all to do that. I'm just showing you my process because I want it to be special and to be all crystals. Normally I would make all of the water. I wanted to do all of the water crystals, but there are so many dark crystals in here. We didn't have enough to convert and they're so dark that you could barely tell that they're uh, crystal except for over in the lighter area. So I, instead I chose to do this mushroom. So let's see, I've laid out all the colors. I've got them here and I'll show you how I converted them. So let's focus on the purples right now. And get you in here a little bit closer. Let's see if we can get you in a little closer so you can see these a little bit better. Okay. So I, for these different symbols that happen to be inside of this mushroom, these are the purple and white that are in there and I am using these as replacement color and see they're the closest as you can see I mean they may not be exact this is a 209 and a 209 so that's good but when you get to a crystal it because it is um, see-through transparent it has a little bit different take to it now what I'm going to do with the white instead of doing the 380 65 AB that I'm going to change these bigger red mushrooms to on this one since it's going to be all clear I'm going to make that frosted I'm going to also put frosted up in the snow as I've indicated here but this crystal frosted crystal is a 5200 clear with an AB coating and that's our frosted which is square okay and this is 210 now technically we don't have a 210 but it's a little bit lighter than 208 and 209. And what I do have is this 209 Crystal AB. And I thought that'd be kind of cool in there to have a little highlight with the frosted. However, we just recently got this 340 in. I picked these colors out last year. <laughs> They've been set aside. We recently got this 340 in. Now, it is a different hue, but I may go ahead and use that anyway for the P and let the frosted shine you know be the only reflective with the ab in there so i'm just going to have to see how i feel once i get going okay so those are the purples now let's go to the grays brownish earth tones let's bring those in here we go so on these earth tones here are the colors that it calls for excuse me there we go these are the colors that are actually in that mushroom right there. And when I laid them out, <clears throat> they are not exact. So this is a 762, which is a very light gray. Well, I'm going to use our 5200 clear for that because technically we do have a 762, but I didn't have the proper sub for this 3024. See? So I just... So if I'm going by values here in these colors, it goes from the kind of the lightest on up. Technically, see, there's a, just a little bit different value in those. 
So that's why I chose that. I chose 5200, 762. So this one is a 648, but we're doing 945, 647, doing 3828, 646, doing 3864, and this dark 645, we're going to do 37. 37.99. So you see my values here will be the same. Even though they're not the exact same matches to the colors, we're going to have the same values, meaning like the shades going from darkest to the lightest. See that? And so it doesn't have to be exact. I don't you don't have to have the exact one. Now I also have mapped this out. I have this written down here. Um, where I'm going to read, so the Y's are going to be this color, the A's that color. So I've I've written that down so I don't get lost. Okay, now let's go to the next set of colors, which are the blues. Move that out of the way, and let's bring our blues in here. So again, these are five of the blues. Technically, we have this blue. I'm going to talk to you about this one in a minute. So these are the six blues that happen to be in the mushroom. This mushroom has a ton of colors. See that? And again, I lay those out to get values so I can see, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that one, so I can see these values. So again, I'm going from the lightest shades up and in here, kind of to the darkest. These could be switched, but these colors are almost identical. So um, 775, I'm doing 3325. The 3841, I'm doing 793, 3325, 995, the 3755, I was going to do 796, okay, this 334 3, 3, is 820, these are very close, but 820 is darker, so we'd have that in line now. Now, for this J, which is 312. We have, I don't have the 312 in the square yet, but I do have a 939. Now, a 939 is supposed to be very dark blue. It's so dark it usually looks black. However, this batch of crystals came in looking dark purple. I've corresponded with the manufacturer several times, and they assure me that's the right color. Well, obviously, on the round 939, it looks almost black. And this square, it looks very dark purple. Now, I know it's supposed to be a dark blue, and in this case, even though this isn't dark blue, because there are so many purples in the canvas, I am going to use that because on the canvas, it's only these four little squares right there. That's all it is. These four, let's see if I can get you in there. See that? Did you see that? Right, Whoop, right here. There's just four tiny little J squares anyway. So honestly, if I didn't have anything darker, I would probably pull the M down or I would pull these purple over there. So sorry about that, not focusing. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, so that's why it doesn't matter to me that it's not quite dark blue because the dark purple will work in this canvas just as well. Okay, so that's my process. Now, believe it or not, there's actually two more colors in this canvas. And I'm not going to replace the colors, and here's why. There's only one arrow, left arrow, and there's only one pound sign. That's it. So on the canvas, where those are on the canvas, I don't even know if I can find them now. Let's see if I can find them. Sorry about that. Um, I even wrote it down on here. There's only, there's only one of each of those. Anyway, the point is, there's the one pound sign right there. And I can't bring it up to you because this canvas is so big, I can't, I can't get it up. There's too much stuff on it. But there's only one pound sign, so I'm just going to convert that to an M. I'm going to convert it to the number right beside it. And then I think the arrow, there was only um, one of the arrows, and I'm going to convert that to an X because there's an, I'm trying to find out where it is on here, but they're right there. So there are X's above this symbol. So I'm just going to make it a row of X's. So that's how I do that. It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't even have to be the exact number. These two are not even going to be in my crystal mushroom. 
and all these others are. So that's how I pick those out. And so now what I'm going to try to do is go ahead and get this mushroom done, this mushroom top done, and then I'll show it finished uh, at the end of this video. So you can see how that's converted. And we'll go piece by piece like that, I believe, on this canvas because it's so big. Like I might do this mushroom next and maybe the rainbow next. The rainbow's going to be a little bit harder. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do this mushroom and then I'll show you finished pictures when I'm done. If you have any hints or suggestions for me, that would be great. Not a problem. Love to hear from you. Any questions, let me know. And we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to shine bright and don't let anyone dull your sparkle. So here goes on the Old Shoe House by Diamond Art Club. Welcome back. So I got the tops of these mushrooms finished along with a few other things in here. And I wanted to show you the results. Um, I, so let's, I guess I'm going to see, it's so big, I'm going to see if I can bring some of this up to you. So this one has, we, we replaced this with the white 3865, I should say 3865 AB. I put that in place of the plane. And it's hard to tell, but can you see the glitter in there? This 608 glitter is just wonderful in here. I am loving these glitter drills. I am loving them. And they look great in this mushroom. So that's the big mushroom. I went ahead and put in the 3865 AB among the flowers and the 210 AB here among these flowers. That's my addition. And I brought some glitter drills down into the number eight symbol on this little mushroom. The camera doesn't want to show you as well as it does show up, but I love the glitter. I went ahead and finished this mushroom, which included the 608 glitter drills in there and the gold metallic squares in here and a little bit of the 3865 AB up there. The rest is the what, the what it calls for, but I wanted to make that kind of psychedelic and I put the gold metallic and the glitter among here and it looks really, really good. Um, I also went and added some butter AB quads and some yellow AB quads to these field of flowers down here. Oh, the other thing is someone suggested I pull in some of those glitter drills on the number eight flowers. So not just on the number eights on the mushrooms, but bring it down into these flowers, which I did. So there's some glitter mixed in here, the glitter drills on the number eight symbol, and that worked out well. And of course, our main focus this time, I got a, a lot more done than I expected, was this crystal topped blue mushroom, blue and purple mushroom, but I love it. I love the way it turned out and um, it made him stand out in the crowd of all the yellow and orange and reds and I like how it turned out. So there you have it. I will throw in some pictures here at the end after these two videos and I think my next section on the Old Shoe House by Diamond Art Club, I think that's going to be the rainbow. I think that's the next section I'm going to do a video on. Oh, real quick. So you know how I'm replacing the plain 3865 with the AB here? I have it on the mushroom tops, the flowers, and the bridge. The one thing I didn't do is I didn't pull the ABs down here into the mushroom bottoms. Excuse me. I didn't pull that into the mushroom bottoms because I wanted the reflection up on the tops. So I'm going to leave these plain down in here. And uh, let's see, I think that's it. I did pull the glitter down into this flower bunch. I did that. And again, I didn't replace every single thing like this. these stems here of the mushroom. I'm leaving those plain 3865. I'm not replacing those with the AB because I want to leave the focus on the tops of um, the mushrooms. And the quads, they go well over into, that's about is all I can get on canvas right there without creating a disaster. So they go well over here into the side of the lake. And any place where there are just four of the symbols, so the butter AB I replaced the capital N on, and I used all this whole packet up. 
so wherever there's four ends or sometimes there may just be three in a different letter and if I want to throw a flower there I'll just put the quad in there anyway and then on this one I didn't use as many you'll have some of these left over if you buy a whole pack it's this um, upward arrow symbol wherever there was four of those I put the yellow AB flower yellow AB quads on those flowers there's not as many obviously there's about 10 or so you use and again there are some tr strategic places that might have three of those arrows going up and I might just throw a flower in there uh, where I want to so that's what I did finished the mushroom tops and the flowers some of the flowers in this area and there you have it folks I'll try to again throw in some pictures at the end so I'm hoping the pictures will show you a little bit close up better than the video in the vid than the video <laughs> so shine bright and don't let anyone dull your sparkle bye now